Hey interwebs, Antface here and welcome back to my series on Destiny Subclass Origins. This time, we're going to be taking a look at the origins of the Gunslinger and the Golden Gun. Once again, let's first take a look at the Grimoire for Solar Light. We can see that Solar Light is harnessed by understanding the fundamental force of change within the universe. This suggests we might want to delve into the history of any hunters who went through a drastic, life-changing experience that might have unleashed the power of Solar Light. The Grimoire speaks of a specific hunter and his firearm multiple times, attesting to the immense change that he experienced. This hunter was Dredgen Yor, whose story is told through the Ghost Fragments for The Last Word and Thorn. These Ghost Fragments might be some of the most well-known pieces of Destiny's lore in the community, and if you're interested, I urge you to take a look at the Grimoire and learn about Jaren Ward and Dredgen Yor. One dominant theory is that Jaren Ward and Dredgen Yor were one and the same, that Jaren himself was a great guardian who became corrupted by the darkness and transformed into Dredgen Yor. Perhaps then, it was this drastic change in Jaren's very being that was integral to ultimately unlocking the secret of Solar Light and the Golden Gun. The Ghost Fragments for the Last Word are written presumably by renegade hunter Shin Malfur, who speaks of two men of light and darkness who played significant roles in his life. Shin speaks of meeting a man named Jaren Ward, who in his opinion, was the finest hunter the system may ever know, and one of the greatest guardians to defend the Traveler's Light. His first encounter with Jaren was also his first encounter with the exotic gun, The Last Word. And the important part to note is that Shin specifically states that he comes to hold the gun later in life. Shin was fascinated by Jaren, and spent a great deal of his childhood watching and admiring him. He also witnessed The Last Word in action, when Jaren killed Loken, the dictatorial leader of his hometown of Palamon uttering the famous words, yours, not mine. Jaron Ward would become the adoptive father of Shin Malfur, and he was also the man of light that Shin spoke of. But what about the darkest shadow Shin would ever know? What's interesting to note is that Shin does not refer to this second person as simply a man of darkness, the same way that guardians might refer to the fallen or the hive as creatures of darkness. Rather, he refers to him as a shadow, this implies that the man of light and the shadow are connected, two elements of the same being. The ghost fragments speak of Shin and Jaren engaged in a mission together. Jaren scouts ahead of the fire team, and Shin hears the sounds of gunfire up ahead. These sounds are emblazoned in Shin's memory as the last time he heard the last word ring out. But Shin never saw what exactly became of Jaren Ward. Jaren's ghost returned to him, and Shin concluded that Jaren must lay dead or dying. Shin's recount pinpoints the last time he heard the sound of the last word, which coincides with the first time he heard the sound of Thorn. Jaren was gone, and the last word with him. But Shin mentioned he would, unfortunately, come to wield the gun again. If Jaren and his firearm perished on that mission, how did Shin come to use the last word again? I believe the answer lies in the information that Jaren's ghost relayed to Shin. This ghost fragment even features an implication of Shin's awakening as the first gunslinger. Shin's emphasis on the man of light and the darkest shadow leads me to believe that Jaren Ward became corrupted by the darkness and changed into the notorious Dredgen Yor and the last word was transformed into a weapon of sorrow known as Thorn. Crota's end brought us a confirmed weapon of sorrow in the Necrochasm. The Grimoire even characterizes weapons of sorrow as light that has been reborn in the shadows of the darkness. Thorn's Grimoire shares the same tone, but while the Necrochasm simply speaks of corrupted weaponry, Thorn is said to be bound to the rise and fall of Dredgen Yor. This suggests that as Thorn was created, transformed from a hero's weapon, so too was Dredgen Yor, a shadow of a former hero. Thorn's grimoire tells of a man of the light, reflecting the descriptions Shin gave of Jaren, but this man falls victim to the corruption of the darkness. And so the noble man hid himself beneath a darkness no flesh should touch, and gave up his mortal self to claim a new birthright. Whether this was choice or destiny is a truth known only to fate. In that cool evening air, as dusk was devoured by night, 
the noble man ceased to exist. In his place, another stood. The same meat, the same bow, but so very different. First and only of his family, the sole forebearer and last descendant of the name Yor. In his first moments as a new being, he looked down at his rose and realized, for the first time, that it held no petals, only the jagged purpose of angry thorns. Dredd and Yor was of the same meat and bone as Jaron Ward, but he was the first and only of his name. Again, the birth of Thorn was tied to the birth of Dredd and Yor. Both were created by the powers of the darkness. Jaron was turned into Dredgen, the rose, or as Shin called it, last word, was turned into Thorn. And finally, in Thorn's third ghost fragment, we bear witness to a confrontation between two men, presumably Shin Malfur and Dredgen Yor. Both refer to a man they both knew, a man who's now long gone. It is during this confrontation that I believe Shin came to discover the power of the Golden Gun. Shin had followed Jaren for almost his entire life. On their mission together, Jaren's ghost witnessed its guardian's corruption and transformation into Dredgen Yor. The ghost then returned to Shin and spoke to him. No, we aren't ready. Shin mentioned that he would unfortunately come to wield the last word again, but Jaren took the last word to his grave. Shin and the rest of the fire team heard its final rounds ring out. But Shin's experience with Jaren and the weapon and the information and light from Jaren's ghost allowed Shin to manifest the last word in the form of solar light. This golden gun was Shin's version of the last word, created in its image, which he used to kill Dredgen Yor, mimicking Jaren's phrase, yours, not mine. I've been Adface, thanks for watching, and I hope you tune in next time.